Hey guys, this video is going to be all about how to sew an invisible hem on your jeans. Uh, it's going to be how to shorten your jeans without cutting and also without a sewing machine. We are going to sew, but it's going to be by hand and it's going to be an invisible stitch or an invisible hem. So you're not going to be able to see it from the outside. And the reason there's no cutting is because I wanted this to be like reversible. I really like DIY and clothing alterations that can be reversible, meaning you can take them out. So if you don't cut anything and you're just sewing, you can kind of just take the seat sewing out and you're left with your original garment, no harm done. And I really like working that way in general, if possible. It's not always possible with all alterations, but with hemming, I think, I think it is possible. So I'm gonna try it on this pair that I have. So I'm going to do, I have these really blue, blue jeans. They're just way too long. So I'm going to, I normally wear them just rolled up like this and I'm tired of wearing them rolled up like that. I really want them to have a nice clean edge on the bottom. So I folded about three and a half inches down. That's what I came up with. This is what is good for me to cut off three and a half inches. I definitely recommend trying them on. First thing you need to do is make sure you wash them so that they are pre-shrunken, that there's no extra shrinking that's going to happen after you hem them. The worst thing ever is to hem your pants and then wash and dry them and then they shrink and then they're way too short. So always make sure you wash your pants first. Then you just wanna kinda of pin them up, pin them up in a place that feels right for where you want it to be. Try them on, make sure it looks like the right length. That's what I did over here in this, um, in this video, trying on just one pant leg this length three and a half inches um, feels good, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and press it first. The best thing to do is like use an iron, press it really flat, make sure you actually just wanna get this, seat, this new hemline that you're creating. You want that hemline to already be kind of pressed in and really clean. It makes the hand sewing a lot easier when this line is already very clear, your new, your new hemline. So let's do that first. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. You can also follow me on Instagram at emilykellerco where I post other fun fashion related stuff, more in picture format. Maybe some reels, maybe some stories stuff. Okay, on with it. Another thing that I highly recommend that you do before even pressing or hemming your pants is to double check the inseam length on both legs of your pants. I know it sounds like, well, yeah, of course, they're gonna be the same length, but sometimes they're not. They could be an eighth of an inch off, they could be even a, a quarter of an inch off, hopefully not more than that, but sometimes they're a quarter of an inch difference, and if you're only going from the bottom edge and saying, okay, I'm going to hem three and a half inches up from here on this leg, three and a half inches up, if one leg is 27 inches long and the other one is 27 and a quarter inches long, that is something that can be noticeable. So I definitely recommend um, double checking the inseam length before you pin. Mine are the same, I just double checked. They're both 27 and a half inches, so I'm good to just measure from the bottom edge up three and a half inches. That's where I'm, my new hem edge is, is going to be. So right now I'm going to press these, I'm going to turn the hem under. So I'm turning this under, kind of right where I want them to be, and I'm going to and I'm just going to get in here and press these flat. I'm actually gonna flip these inside out just so I can see the other side a little bit better and kind of just finish steaming them. I wanna make sure this one, I really like this side seam to be open like this, pressed flat open. And down in the hem, you can see here, it gets like where it's not open, it kind of starts folding sideways. So I wanna repress this totally flat. Um, it just looks better when you're hemming. I'm gonna press this open. Okay. That's 
better. So now this will lay a little bit flatter when I fold it over. Press it one more time. Both sides. Okay, that one looks good. Yeah, same thing here. This this side seam is not folded open, which I don't like. So we're gonna fold this open. Much better. Make sure you get everything really flat, as with straight as straight lines as you can. And we're gonna be sewing right along, basically just right along this edge. I'm gonna sew on the inside right along this edge. And yeah, we're gonna do an invisible stitch. And you can kind of see here that these pants are so tapered that the bottom edge is smaller than the point where we're stitching. So we're gonna make sure that we stitch it a little bit loose. So then we flip it inside out, the, this, this bottom edge has a chance to kind of remain smaller than this, and it can kind of move around a little bit on the inside. Otherwise the outside leg will kind of look gathered and bunched if we sew this too tight. And then we have like these bunches and things like that because the outside fabric is wider than the inside. So we're gonna just make sure we sew it a little bit loose. For this part, all you really need is a sewing needle, thread, and scissors. That's basically it. So for this part, I decided to get this, I have this multicolored thread I'm gonna use because I never use this thread for anything and it'll be fun. It's invisible anyway, so you're not gonna see it. So let's just use this fun invisible thread. You're gonna thread your needle Make sure you pull out enough thread. Also this thread, it's like a different color, so I'm hoping you can see it like a little bit better than, than, than if I did a matching color. And I don't think it's necessary to do a matching color. Yeah, I'll just do this one. They always tell you to put a knot at the end of this thing. I never do, let's see, let's try it. Let's try to put a knot at the end of this for a change. Cause is that, does that really work? Does that do something? I don't know, all right, let's try it. So I'm just gonna go, I'm doing a simple slip stitch, I think it's called. Let's start on the inside of the leg, which is normally this like surged over seam with the top stitching. I think the top stitching is normally on the inside, right? Inside leg, yes. So start on the inside seam, just in case any funny business happens and we, so I can also take these pins out now. These ones kind of aren't necessary because we pressed our seam really flat and then we're just going to start sewing. I'm gonna start here. Let's see, does that not work? Oh, not really, it kind of slipped through. Okay, that's fine. I mean, what I normally do is just knot it, like knot it on itself to start, and this seems to work totally fine for me. Okay, knotted. Okay, so I'm just gonna start catching little pieces of thread here. You basically wanna try to catch like one, yeah, like that, like one thread. And that's really, that's how you make it invisible. Then I'll catch the top edge of the fabric. Go here and catch one thread again. Top edge of the fabric. One thread. Top 
top edge. And on and on. So I'm going to finish this pant leg. And then I'll show you guys. Cool. There is one pant leg. And you can see like there is a lot of this gathering here. So we'll see. Like we'll see. This is my first time trying to hem pants like this where there's you don't cut. And because I'm so short, it's it's a lot. Three and a half inches is a lot to try not to cut. If you're doing less, it's it turns out a lot better. So if you're doing like an inch or something like that, you won't have such a big difference between the width of the ankle and your new and the point where you're sewing. So let's see, you can kind of see there's some little gathering here and here. I'm going to kind of open this up and keep that stitch there really loose. You can kind of see the stitch is pretty loose here. I'm going to leave it like that so that it has room to move. Cool, and then I'm going to just um, tie a knot here. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Um, it might not look very good, but we're gonna see how this first pant leg came out. So this looks pretty good. I just did this left leg and I'm pretty happy. It looks pretty smooth and flat. I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, do the other leg. So the first leg actually came out way better than, than I thought it was going to. As I was sewing it, I was like, this is going to be a mess because the inside edge is um, smaller than where I'm connecting it, than where I'm connecting it to. Um, but actually when it's on, it looks okay. I kind of like, you know, pressed it flat and I think it actually came out pretty nice. Um, I'm going to show it on again then when I finish the other side. But it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, it is pretty loose if you kind of go in there and you look at the thread. Um, it, it does kind of like float a little bit, which is good. You can kind of see here, especially, it's like very loose. It's really loose. That's good. I think that's really good. Again, if you don't have your pants like three, four inches, like I do, if you do like one inch, half an inch, one inch, maybe up to two inches, you're gonna have less of this problem. Also, if you have straight leg jeans, jeans that are just completely straight, um, they don't, that don't taper one way or the other, it's gonna be a lot easier to hem straight jeans because the width of the bottom edge and is going to be the same as where you're tacking it up to. That's a lot easier because these are kind of tapered. I'm taking a smaller edge, tucking it up under and attaching it to a wider edge. It's just, a little bit harder but I'm gonna finish these this way anyway and I'm gonna try them out wear them like test wear them see how they look try pictures selfies you know see if they kind of hold up through wash and if they still look good or you know if, if it's a lot of stress on the thread I don't know yet so we'll kind of see how how it goes I'm gonna do the other one and then wear them around town here are my jeans hemmed in all their glory they look pretty darn good actually I like that they're like pretty clean but they kind of still have like a structured shape because they're like doubled over layered underneath. Yeah, they look pretty good. I'm happy to like, I'm excited to try them out, kind of wear them around, see how they wear and wash. Um, yeah, they look really good. Thanks for watching. I'm excited about these pants and how they came out. I think they came out pretty well for especially for how they're like tapered and taking the smaller edge up and attaching to the wider edge I think they came out pretty good I'm excited to kind of like try them out wear them around yeah I think I think they're pretty good I just like how clean they are I really like the invisible hem for even for jeans I know a lot of people like to keep the original edge on the jeans which can also be nice but I really like the invisible hem or the invisible stitch for jeans, I think it kind of like elevates them a little bit, just makes them look a little bit more mature. If you tried this out, let me know how it went. Like this video, 
if you like actually made it all the way to the end that's amazing and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out every week <laughs> if I have the time it's every week a video comes out you can also follow me on Instagram at Emily Keller CO where I will be posting other things like these kind of highlights of my YouTube videos so probably pictures of like these hems and stuff like that uh, other fun fashion related stuff sketching and other stuff that um, I feel like posting I'm gonna try to make more reels yeah so uh, follow along thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one bye